It's the all-new, fourth-generation Mazda MX-5. No, all-new. Fresh from the ground up, and both lighter and smaller than the car it replaces. The MX-5 has lost 10% of its body weight, over 100 kilograms, and is now even shorter than the 1989 original. That's virtually unheard of. It looks dinky in the flesh, but has real presence, and yet there's more cabin space. The MX-5 is a very, very clever piece of packaging, as you'll deduce if you open the bonnet and see that the whole of the engine sits behind the front axle line. That's good for weight distribution, and the only penalty is a lump in the footwell underneath your cap, where the gearbox is. Moreover, the engine is mounted lower in the chassis, which means the bonnet is lower. Thanks to that, the driver's hip point has been dropped, too. So you sit nice and snug in I. With many European cars you get the sense that the marketing men identified a niche, and the engineers had to build something to fit it. The new MX-5, however, does what it's always done, but does it better, I think, than ever. It's got the design, engine, and handling chops that have been absent as a package for a couple of generations. I'm just glad the MX-5 exists. The world deserves a small roadster as good as this. It brightens things up, and we all need a bit of that in our lives.